Okay, and I'm not tapped out. Hey guys, we have Jeopardy with an exclamation point at the end. The first of three apparent Jeopardy games on the console, game 227. I'm going to imagine this game is like, uh, what do you call it? The game is probably like Wheel of Fortune. I'm guessing there's no actual ending, and it probably doesn't matter if you win or lose. I'll try to win, but this is going to be challenging. I'm not a big generic questions guy, so you guys should consider helping me with your knowledge. It's this. That's right. It's this. You got Jeopardy. I'll get started in a moment. I just want to advertise. What do you mean, but why? <laughs> On the Discord. Let me make a meaningless tweet that nobody cares about, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Is uh. There's uh. Stuff going on in the speedrunning world, you know, along with everything else going on in the uh. in the universe. Recently. Just, uh, people having their stuff removed. Welcome back. La 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 How many players? Let me turn the game audio down a smidge. I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but it sounds loud to me. Alright, we're one player. Play against computers? Yes, no. I'll say yes. Player one, use control number one to enter your name. Press start when finished. Oh, shit. Oh, no, you are kidding me. Oh, never mind. It's all in a straight line. I thought I had to go down. I was trying to get to the P on press. I'm a dumbass. I was like, what, well, I have to go all the way around? Oh, no, I don't want that. Choose a person with the select button and use buttons A, B to buzz in. Alright. Oh, boy. You would have done the same mistake. Yeah, I was like, how do I get to the P down there? New York City. Yeah, you guys have been on quite the rafting adventure. Denny was impressed. He said he would join you if he could, as well. That was quite the hairdo. Oh, it's it's random. Yeah, it's never gonna happen. Alright, I am going to be... the tall guy, because look at the smile on this guy's face. And New York City, I'll pretend he's got a Philly shirt on. You don't help Chief fast, it's because you're doing your Japanese stuff or dealing with events. Hey, no problem. User categories. This game has some... I didn't... I, sh I should have reset just to play the intro again for you guys, but it's got some nice sounding voice work. You want a different set of categories? I didn't see what that said. Toys and games. Yo, this is my... this is my expertise. Let's go. She's been a teenage fashion model for over 25 years. I hope that's Barbie. Because 
I do not know. Who is... Barbie. Yeah, I'm just doing all this blind, so we're probably going to fail horribly. I am not a quiz expert. Oh, yeah, I got 500 bucks. Well, let's just stick with the toys and the games. This the is my is. specialty, right? Benny and Smith makes this brand of crayons in 64 colors. Benny and Smith? The only brand of crayons I know is Crayola. So I'm just gonna say Crayola. As an artist, I don't know my crayon colors because we don't use crayons. <laughs> what are Crayola? Aha! I'm a genius. You got the answers ready. I, I want to comment. So if you look at the box art, this game apparently has 3,500 questions. And the answer is... Versions of this board game take place in London, Madrid, and Atlantic City. Uh... How old is Ticket to Ride? It's not Ticket to Ride. London, Madrid, and Atlantic City? Versions of this board game take place in old board game, 1992. Not Monopoly, is it? Monopoly? No. I don't know the answer to this one. Is it Monopoly? No way, it's Monopoly. I guess that's my best guess. Oh my god, it is Monopoly. The answer is... The answer is... Color that always has the opening move in chess. Oh, that's easy. Fucking white, bro. At least the AI doesn't answer questions fast. <laughs> what is white? I always found this game's uh, format to be weird. Jeopardy. Like, if someone asked you the question, what is white, the answer being, the chess piece that always moves first, is that what you're going to come up with? No, it's not. The answer is... 761 categories. Well, we got a lucky category choice for our playthrough. Number of pockets on the pool table. Do I have to spell it out? There's six. All right, well, now, travel, tourism, word, play, U.S. Senate, food, musical instrument, I guess. I'll do the 300 is. here. The descant or soprano is the most popular size of this instrument. Often the first... Oh, I did not even see that. The AI got it. Often the first a child learns. Recorder? The fuck? The recorder... The answer is... And Joshua Thomas Moore over at Sea, the Conquering Hero Comes, sound these horns. I think it's horns. <laughs> what are horns? Oh no, that's incorrect. I lost a hundred bucks. It's trumpets? It is trumpets? Okay. Good. It's all good. The trumpets. Oh, you have to say the trumpets. Good for you, Jenny, you harlot. <laughs> Word play. The answer is... The artificial turf in the stadium is nicknamed Mardi Gras. I'm guessing it was baseball. New Orleans Superdome. Okay, yeah, never would have gotten that. <laughs> I had no idea the that they nicknamed their turf. Special reports in these Penna Mountains have hurt shaped tubs for honeymooners. Yeah, this is where I fail. I got all the game questions. <laughs> what are the Poconos? 
We'll see if I can snake something. Musical instrument. You won't get bad vibes listening to Lionel Hampton play this instrument. I don't know who Lionel Hampton is, I'll admit. The vibraphone. You're right. I wonder if the AI is capable of failing the harder questions. The answer is... When reverse this month becomes a sweet potato. Okay. I have no idea. May? A yam. Ah. Genius. This is going to be a fun learning experience for me, more so. <laughs> the answer is... Not in Ohio, but in the Spanish city. Can you visit El Cresco's home? Yeah, I have no idea who El Greco, Greco, El Greco is. Toledo. See, I would never do good in Jeopardy. It's just random knowledge, which I don't care about random knowledge. I'm highly specialized. Daily double. Your wager. As a verb, it means looked at. As a noun, it's a well-known popular saying. Thaw. Well-worn popular saying. Well, damn, the dude. How much money did he make for that? The cold cut? Baloney. Oh, of course. Baloney! I should have got that. It's okay. These guys are too good. Yeah, I need to girl to score some points. <laughs> Band in Japanese no theater consists of a flute and three of these. Come on, step it up. I don't know my random trivia. It takes me a minute to think. Drums. <laughs> I have no idea what no theater is. The answer is. On a standard guitar, the strings stretch from the bridge to these. I forget the name of it. Joe, on a guitar, the string stretch from the bridge to the what? Quick, Joe, I got 50 seconds. <laughs> ah, you don't know what it's called either? The tuning pegs? No, I'm playing Jeopardy. I don't think this is going to be right, but it's a good try. Is this from the bridge? The bridge is the top part, which would be from the pegs to the, the bottom. Oh wow, that was correct. Nice. It was tuning pegs, apparently. Food questions. Let's go. The answer is... Risotto is a popular Italian dish that features this green cooked in broth. Spaghetti? Rice, rice, rice. We have Jim. The answer is. The answer is a frittata is an open faced variety of this. I have no idea what a frittata is. <laughs> frittata. Yes, get it, girl. Get some points. An omelet. Frittata is an open faced omelet. Alright. U.S. The Senate questions. Oh boy. Number of senators from each state. I actually don't know. Doesn't it vary? It's either two... See, I did know in the back of my head. I thought there was a little variance to it. Yeah, two. The answer is... Two common English five-letter words that end in oomph. 
Two common five leather stymph. Nymph. Two common English five letter words that end in nymph. Uh. Nymph. That's too common. So wouldn't it be nymph and? I don't know what the other word is, though. I don't think this is right. <laughs> That is incorrect. Yet. <laughs> Ends in nymph. Lymph and nymph. I actually, I didn't know what lymph was. Lymph and nymph. If I said nymph and lymph, would I have gotten it? The answer is... These ticket holders anxiously await no-shows and cancellations in order to board the plane. I forget what this is called, too. Standbys. I lost all my points, man. I lost all my points. I still have a the chance, is... though. Greek salads are usually distinguished by these, by this cheese. Breaded? I don't know the name of it. So. Feta. Feta cheese. Damn it, Jim. You need to get something wrong, man. You need to lose some points. The answer is... The world's highest suspension bridge spans this famous Kingly Colorado Canyon. It's not the Grand Canyon. But it's my best guess. I don't know other canyons. The Royal Gorge. The Royal Gorge. Yo, we cheating here, we cheating. Game would be pretty challenging to do without any advice. Royal Gorge, Colorado. Oh, you're right. Let's try... Uh... The answer this is... This one. The elected office held by the President of the U.S. Senate. President of the Senate? And realized the Senate had a President. Vice President. Ah, ah, ah. The U.S. Americans don't know anything about how our government works. The answer is... Because you're never educated on this stuff. Very large, firm, meaty tomato often served with onion slices and an oil and vinegar dressing. A meaty tomato. Beef steak. No wonder why Trump is the president now. It was either Trump or Hillary, is. man. And now uh, we're in the same situation now with the other guy. Large resort island off the Yucatan coast was the setting for the movie Against All Odds. Cozumel. Oh, you actually had that. That's okay. I don't know what Cozumel is. The answer is... The answer is... From the Greek word for leaf, these leaf-like sheets of pastry are used to make baklava. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Nice, if only that was the guy. From <laughs> the Greek word. <laughs> is it Philo? I would not know that. 
and quiz games, man. Bye, though. Sarge is right. Senator questions. The answer is. State once represented by James Buckley and Jacob Javits. Not don't know who those two senators were. I have no idea. I got 50 choices here. Yeah, neither does that guy. <laughs> New York. Yo, I'm ahead. Touch, she's guessing. New York. You're right. The answer is... The answer is Dan Quayle, formerly represented the state in the Senate. I don't know who he is either. Dan Quayle. Like, senators. Who remembers senators? Indiana. You're right. So are you, Sarge? Oh, you're so good with Google. <laughs> the answer is... The answer is... He was the president of the Screen Actors Guild before becoming California's Republican senator in 1964. Now, I don't know anything about senators. Like, my government knowledge is slim as it is, but senator knowledge on top of that? <laughs> Yo, I I did good on the games question though. The toys and games, I was all over that shit. Here are the categories. Fictional detective, the big top. I don't know what that is. Insects. Golden oldies. Odd jobs. The thirties. I don't know shit about thirties. <laughs> If you want a different set of categories, press the select button now. No, I'll take them. Those, the answer is... Uh, them are the Hawaiian sleuth of Chinese heritage with 11 children. <sighs> the Hawaiian sleuth, man. Oh, the colors changed. Charlie Chan, apparently. I don't like this guy. Insects. The answer is... This fever carried by ticks is actually more prevalent in Appalachians than it is out west. The yellow fever? Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever? I've not heard of that. Oh, we're going the down to insects. Is... This disease carrier poses the greatest health threat to humans and all of all insects worldwide. I'm gonna assume it's a fucking mosquito. It better be a fucking mosquito. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Odd the jobs. Four-letter word for a spiritual guide. Maharishi Maheshi Yogi is one. A monk? Guru? My guess was a monk. I don't know who the guy is, but I'll go Guru. Since, you know, you probably have the right answers. <laughs> Close enough. The answer is... For 10% of the bail, he'll spring you from jail. A bail bondsman. General Detectives again. The wife of this Peter Falk character got her own TV series. I don't know who Peter Falk is, admittedly. If I had to... Uh, it's the wife of the character, so you want the guy's name. Yeah, Columbo? I have no idea who Columbo is. This is before my time. 
the big top. I don't know what this topic is. Circus is Latin for these, of which most large American circuses have. Uh, It's the big top circuses. You kind of know. It's not your time. Were you into, like, old detective things? Rings, indeed. Back then, the sex. answer is these bees who do nothing but fertilize queens have the shortest lifespan of any bee four weeks. Not the worker bee, drones. You're right. Golden old. The answer is. 1961, Rick Nelson was a travel traveling man. Roy Orbison was running scared. I didn't see the whole question. Ray Charles was told to do this jack. Hit the road. Yeah, I would never guess that. The answer is... You'd flip, flip, flip over Concello, the first woman to perform this stunt on the flying trapeze. No idea. <laughs> She's got no idea either. I need the guy to do that. Lose points. Oh, but he's gonna answer correctly, right? Triple somersault? That's not the first woman. What do you mean? That's not a woman. He just said the act. The answer is. <laughs> Theater Coffin and Ferber's dinner time. <clears throat> Eight. Good job, Jenny. Good job. Jim is a fucking cheating whore. The answer is. I heard it through the grapevine was a hit. What's for Marvin Cave and once for this group? I have no idea. Gladys Knight and the Pips. I don't even know if I could have typed that in fast enough. The answer is. The answer is. This first four seasons hit went all the way to number one, baby. Jag? No. Do, 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 Sherry. Yeah, I knew it was older than Jag. We're talking the earliest of television here. The answer is... Joe, the foreign Jim Chi patrolled the Indian lands of the Four Corners area in, this, in his mysteries. Tony Hillerman. The answer is... Moon River and this other 1961 hit both have River and Moo in their titles. Moody River. You're right. The answer is... Questions too much. In 1826, Hal and Turner were the first to present their shows in one of these. Is it a drive-in theater? Tent. You know some random-ass trivia there, Jim. The answer is... Oh, right. A fancy name for a tightrope walker. This is all circus stuff. That's what the big top is. <laughs> I 
can't let him do this. He can't do this. Would not have known. The answer is. The answer is his first client was General Sternwood in the Big Sleep. These questions are too old for me. I don't know any of these people. Philip Marlowe. The answer is. The answer is Marjorie Canaan Rawlings' novel that won the 1939 Pulitzer Prize. Oh, good. He didn't know. He lost 400 bucks. Ah. I mean, I probably can't answer any of these. Maybe the insect ones? For the last questions I'm going to have a shot at getting? The yearling. Oh boy. Found all land not in the water is colorful insect feeds on anything starchy. Silverfish. Damn, back to back daily doubles. She's just wagering big shit. He raises penmanship to a fine art. And you lost your money. <laughs> Calligrapher. The daily double only. The person who chose it gets is. a shot at it. Insect's body consists of a thorax and these other two parts. Abdomen and... Get the other one. Head and abdomen. Yeah, head. Could have had that. Smile. The answer is... Winter Olympic champ in 32 who iced her success with movie stardom. Bonja Henny. Do, do, do. The answer is. Yan says, India's great soul who began a fast unto death in 1932. Mahatma Gandhi. The answer is... Horse racing figures the British call turf accountants. Whoops. I don't know anything about horse racing. Bookies. Yo, Jenny, with the comeback. The answer is... Golden Oldies. Freddie Cannon, top ten hit, featuring the Florida Capitol in its title. I have no idea. Tallahassee Lassie. The answer is... What a Fletcher makes. Fletcher. Jim knows. Arrows. I know they had a name for arrow craftsmen like that. The odd job the indeed. Is. Florida City called Circus City is the home of the Ringling Museum. Doo -doo. Sarasota. The answer is... Belgian who found evil under the sun and death on the Nile.
Hercule Poirot. Or Poirot. The answer is. Joe Zangara killed Chicago's mayor Turnak, but missed this main target. Oh, that's Abraham Lincoln. No, that's that's not right. <laughs> Don't listen to me. It's thirty-three, man. I actually didn't know there was uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt back then. Final Jeopardy. U.S. landmarks. Cornerstone was laid February 12th, 1915. So, I need to, like, gamble. We can gamble it all here. Twenty nine hundred bucks. No, 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 no. Yes, I definitely looked this up. Go winning, boys! The Lincoln. Did I spell that right? I think I spelled that incorrectly. Lincoln. Final Jeopardy answer is... Jenny! She's right! And Jim! He's also right! He went home with 1300 bucks? Very good. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta see what happens if we win. So now we gotta cheat. Yeah, I'll play computers. Let's go. Or I could try to get categories that are more current as opposed to 1930s. Let's uh, rematch, man. That's the same people. Here are the categories. We got physics, 19th century. World Geology, 60s song, States and Song, P's and Q's. Yeah, let's get a different set of categories. Here are the categories. Great Thinkers, Colonial America, Composer, Letter Perfect, History, Literature. Sure. Why not? We start, huh? Let's just go with the uh, great thinky thonkers. That was a daily double challenge. I guess I have to wager the amount you can earn. 
This 17th century Dutch Jew was excommunicated from a synagogue for independent thinking. Uh... Baruch. Oh god, I can't get to the A in time. What? Damn it. Spinoza. Spinoza. Baruch Spinoza. I should have looked again, but I couldn't tab out. Didn't have enough time. <laughs> the answer is... The answer is... French soldier and mathematician whose motto was, I think therefore I am. Let's try, man. Let's try. Rene Descartes. Right. Oh, I could wrap around. I didn't think I could wrap around. That makes it a little easier. You're right! Alright. Whatever. The Colonial answer is... America, man. This was the only message found at the lost colony on Roanoke Island. Yay for Google! Croatoan? How do you spell that? Cro Cro Croatoan. You're right. The answer is composer. He composed Faust in 1869, the Vatican's national anthem. Charles Gonad. What's up, brother? Uh. Yeah, I don't mind using the internet to get through this because all these questions the are is. beyond me. Why? Seven tone in the diatonic scale of C. I, I would never do Jeopardy. What area is that? <laughs> B. The answer B. is... George Washington surprised these mercenary troops after crossing the Delaware on December 25th, 1726. Ah, that game. Yes, it's quite challenging. This says German mercenaries. Oh. 
Ugh, spelling in this game. <laughs> be IES is incorrect fuck what well, points man the Hessians Google let me down all right whatever the answer is I won't worry about 100 points. First held in 1876, the Bayreuth Festival was planned by this German composer to play his own work. Do, do, do. Beep, beep, beep. Nobody knew. Richard Wagner. The answer is... Oldest of the 13 original colonies. Yeah, I wanted to say Virginia. I wasn't sure. Should be Virginia. Get my 100 points back. Alright, literature. The answer is. I would never know literature. Her last words to Alice were off with her head. Queen of Hearts, isn't it? <laughs> and that wouldn't be true. Wouldn't it be after her? I didn't even have to look that up. Oh yeah, we got a literature question. The answer is... Touch J. Gatsby loved her. She was chained to Tom Bouchon. I don't know. Let that one go. <laughs> I don't even feel like typing that in. Daisy Bouchanon. Bouchanon. I don't know how to say that. You're right! Colonial the America. Is... 19, in 1644, Peter Stuyvesant lost one of these in a battle with the leg. <laughs> Sorry, that is incorrect, Jim. Alright, what's his name? Stephen Stuy. Vassant lost what in the battle? Lost his right leg. I was right. <laughs> I guess I have to say right leg. Not just leg, but lost his leg. Well, I kind of had a question down. Nice. The Composer is... for Hundo, the Firebird and Petrushka. Uh, see, these are easy to look up. Composer of Firebird, man. And I guess the other one, because I'm getting multiple names here. Petrushka. Igor Stravinsky. Okay. Easy peasy. Alright, I'll just do uh, more yeah, literature, I guess. Who wrote the thousand and second tale of the Arabian Nights character? Isn't that the answer? Shkherzid. Or however you pronounce that word. The answer is... Desiring a teacher, 
Gershwin sought out this composer, yada yada and yada yada. Bolero told him he didn't need one. Maurice Ravel. The answer is... The answer is 19th century German author of Thus Spake, Zarathustra. <sighs> Nietzsche. The answer is... The answer is NBC sci-fi series about alien lizards invading Earth. What is letter perfect? The V? A smile on his face. The yeah, it's cleaning up the easy questions. Omar Khayyam's Ancient Iran. Let's go, Jenny. She doesn't know. Why do you answer your question if you don't know? No, he doesn't know either. I'm not losing a hundred bucks. I'm not looking it up either. It's a bait. And it's a bait. Persia. The answer is... On TV, letter on Mr. Fazio's blouse. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to believe it's an L. <laughs> You're right. So we're only doing this to see if there are credits in the game at the end. If you are a winner. The answer is... It's Patrick. Ancient Yucatan tribe that had no schools but were excellent astronomers. Ancient Yucatan tribe. The Mayans. Yeah, I did not know the Mayans hailed from Yucatan. <laughs> I the was is. thinking... I was like, it's not the Aztecs, so I was in the ballpark. Well, prisoner of the Germans in World War II, something, something, dark side, something, something, complete. John Paul Sartre. Or Sartre. <sighs> the answer is... Letter reversed in the name of what a giraffe calls the world's biggest toy store. Wait, letter reverse is the R in Toys R Us, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't have to look that up. Nice. The answer is... 1930 film where Peter Lore plays a child murderer. Yeah, I don't know either. Child Murder, 1930 film. It's pretty old. I have not seen it. And Jim's doing trash this time around. Fucking dumbass. Last time he was a god tier genius. M. Really, the, the name of the movie is just M. Composer. The answer is. Written in 1723, it's German's Magnificat, and D major is Magnificent. The Beethoven? Bastian Bach. Colonial yeah, America. Alias a pirate, Edward Teach, who tied his most famous feature into pigtails using colored ribbons. 
The alias of Pirate Edward Teach. Black Beard. Really? Nice. Good job, Jim. Welcome back to the game. The answer is... The answer is... He was born the 15th of 17 children, 1706. I guess I'll look this one up. Born the 15th of 17 children in 1706. Benjamin Franklin. Man, a lot of brothers and sisters. I did not know. Don't talk about any of his brothers or sisters whatsoever. Benny Frank. Alright, a couple extra points for us. The History is... British Prime Minister Crown Queen Victoria Empress of India. I'll get these points too. Uh, Lord Melbourne. I don't know if I have to call him Lord Melbourne, but I'm going to call him Lord Melbourne. Not my Lord. Benjamin Disraeli? Is that his actual name or something? I have a different answer than you. Lord Mel... Going with my answer this time around. Do or die with it. Lord Melbourne. Oh, apparently that's wrong. Want the page you're using? Was it like actually all the answers to the questions of the game? I'm just Googling them. You were right though. It was Benjamin Disraeli. The answer is. Oh, what are you on game facts or something? The Munich Agreement allowed something or another Germany to partition this country. Czechoslovakia. Oh, how about that? This is the game facts? They actually have an FAQ of every question and answer. The answer is. Damn, that's hilarious. No, this doesn't have every single one, does it? No way there's 3,500 questions on these pages. Still, pretty impressive. That's okay, we'll wait until I get to the $1,000 question. Is... Or double jeopardy. Edward Hyde. The answer is... The answer is... This dashing Margaret Mitchell character has been called the most famous Charlestonian. Rhett Butler. Alright, now we gotta win all the thousand dollars and then I'll just sit and wait. Here are the categories. The forties. TV. Food. By the numbers. Fashion flags. I guess this is all fine. Not none of these categories are like ideal for me. The answer is the answer is the Stars and Stripes was first planted at this location on July twentieth, nineteen sixty nine. Uh, the moon. Ah. 
I knew that without looking at it. <laughs> You're right. I just didn't hit the button fast enough, but that's okay. The answer is... The symbols of this country's flag represent the yin and yang and the balance and harmony of the life. I don't know. He doesn't know either. Yin and Yang? Yeah, I wanna say Korea. South Korea? May as well jump on it since you said it. Korea. You're right! Alright, let's cheat the big, big points. The answer is... The answer is... Created in 1979's cabinet department has a symbolic tree in the center of its flag. Uh... That'll be... The Department of Education. I hardly have enough time to type this shit in. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. The answer is... Alice Marvel astonished the Wimbledon crowd by appearing in them in the 30s. Oh shit, he got it before I got it. <laughs> Dude, hit the button fast. Short. Damn, that's such an easy answer to type. The answer is... The answer is... On the Olympic flag, the top three rings are blue, black, and red. The bottom two are these colors. Green and yellow. Yellow and green. I would have got it wrong because I said it backwards. But whatever. I knew what it was. I knew what it was. The answer is... The answer is Roman wear that became party wear for the Greeks and Animal House. Toga. I knew what that was, too. <laughs> oh, I'm so smart. By the numbers. The answer is... The answer is... The first asked in this game is usually animal, vegetable, or mineral. What? Twenty questions? That I had no idea. The answer is... In Blackjack, this card can be worth 1 or 11. The ace. Oh, it's like I know game questions. Herp -a -derp -a -derp. <laughs> Musical about the Continental Congress that included the song Sit Down, John. Alright, what is the answer to this? 1776. Get fucking destroyed, nerds. I have the power of the internet at my side. Oh god, a daily double. My wager. I'm just gonna wager, uh... A hundred. Because I don't know if I'll have enough time to look this up. Mark Twain described this vegetable as nothing but cabbage with a college education. Trying to think on my own. I have no idea. Cauliflower, apparently. I had plenty of time to look it up. That's okay, we don't need to embellish in a bajillion points.
The answer is... The answer is late star whose daughter Kate appeared with him in the... God damn, that she answered like immediately. I should mash A. <laughs> you can't just steal my points like that, AI. It's cheating. The stop, the stop was there. Bitch. What's up, Oliver? Uh oh, daily double. She's gonna wager a ton, and she's probably gonna get it right. Shit, she has so many points. The answer is. Uh, number of short stripes, I think it's eight, but I'll look it up. It's seven. One off. The answer is. Wartime pseudonym. Of Miss Eva Toguri Di Aquino. Tokyo Rose, apparently. Baller. Tokyo Rose. All right, we should be pretty good to go. Term for the tuxedo is pleated sash, originally used to protect trousers from crumbs. Pleated sash, the the man. This one is escaping me. I mean, I'm gonna look it up anyway, but. No, okay, I didn't know it was called a cummerbund. This is an old word you don't hear anymore. You're right! The answer is... Race run by couples tied together at the ankle. The three-legged race. I don't know how they would type it in, so let me look at it. Three-legged race. Sorry, I knew what it was, though. Yay for me. We got another question. How do you do the dash? I don't know where the dash symbol is. Do I just do a space? This is probably going to count as wrong because I don't know where the dash symbol is. I don't see it. Anyone see it? Okay, that's right. I guess only the AI does the dash The answer symbol. is... The eggs and egg benedict are traditionally cooked this way. Isn't it sunny side up? No, poached. The answer is... The answer is... We wonder if you remember she was Loni Anderson's partner in Partners in Crime. Linda Carter. Oh, okay. I probably don't need any more than this, except for the final Jeopardy. So, I can the stop looking is. them up now. Destination of MacArthur's I Shall Return. Way to get it, Jim. 
The Philippines. The answer is... After Heart to Heart, she co-starred in the miniseries Minstrel's Daughter. Mistral's daughter, Stephanie Powers. The answer is... Though faster than a speeding bullet, he was ruled 4F. Superman. What is the... he was ruled 4F. I don't know what that is. The answer is... Hunter's hat sported by Sherlock Holmes. Dear Stalker. Can't get over the, the smile is. of the old man when he gets it right. He left his prairie home for a highway to heaven. Michael Landon. He'll never catch up to me, Jimmy. Jim boy, Jimbo. The answer is. They can come in Norfolk smoking or pea variety. What are jackets? Would not have guessed jackets. The answer is. The Don says by war's end, they had banked over 13 million units of blood for plasma. The Red Cross. The answer is... The answer is Police Precinct Barney Miller Dozen. Work at any... Wait, what? Work at anymore. Doesn't work at anymore. Is that slang? He doesn't work there. The answer is... The answer is... Part of a carrot that's eaten as vegetable. The tap root. I didn't know they called the the bottom part of the carrot the tap root, or you know the the core of a carrot, not the leafy the is... stem. Tap root, huh? Not his singing, but a lack of lunch caused the fan to swoon at his Paramount Theater concert. Wait, a lack of lunch caused someone to swoon. Frank Sinatra. Swoon. Is that the right word? <laughs> the answer is. The answer is. A 1984 Better Homes and Garden survey found that the type of pasta eaten most often. Gotta be spaghetti. That's obvious. The most popular pasta in the world for some reason. The answer is... I personally prefer other things, like the... the shells. Unopened <laughs> flower buds. Okay, sure. Final Jeopardy, boys. This is it. I need to look up the question and get this. Our final category is artists. My turn for final Jeopardy. Uh oh. My wager. Ten thousand dollars. 
Brightly colored paintings by this British-born LA painter toured the US in the 80s. David Hockney. Alright, let's see if this game actually has credits for winning. I need to make sure I spell this right. Hawk Ney and E Y. <laughs> Guy has his eyes closed. He's like praying. Or thinking really hard in his mind. I like the beard on that guy. He's looking sharp. He's looking sharp. He's got a clean cut, too. He's fresh. That's why we picked him. The final Jeopardy answer is... David Hockney. Wow, you only gambled 4,000? He gambled all his money. And I'm just like, ha ha, motherfuckers. 10,000 on the line. I am the new Jeopardy champion. You're the cheater. We're the cheater. Alright, so there's no credits in the game. The game can't be beat. Whether you cheat or don't. This is all there is to it. Is there really no credits in it at any point? Maybe you can like hold select to get them or something. Here, let me uh let me take a look at something real quick. No cheats or tricks or tips for this. Yeah, I don't see any way to, like, make credits display. So, we're gonna move on from this. I'm gonna keep streaming. We'll play the next game. But, uh, thanks for watching on the, you know, video upload sites, crowds. Jeopardy doesn't have any ending of any sort. So, I don't even feel bad for cheating for <laughs> victory. <laughs> One of the fastest. Nah. I mean, I guess technically it's done as soon as you start it, but there's a lot of games that are like that. Alright, give me... let me pause this. Give me a minute. Take a split here.